In this video I'm going to show you how to do matrix multiplications using Casio FX991 ES Plus. And this calculator is very good for matrix operations. So we're going to look at multiplying two very simple matrices. These are the two here. So we've got A is just 1, 2, 3 on each line. We're going to multiply it by B which will just stick as the identity matrix to make things as simple as possible. So to access the matrix mode, we press mode and then we select option 6, which is helpfully written matrix next to it. So we need to insert our two matrices. This is matrix A, so we'll select matrix A, press 1. This is a 3 by 3, 3 rows and 3 columns. So we'll select 1 again and just enter this. So we've got 1, 2, 3 on each line as so, there we go, and then we just press um, shift 4, and then we press data, which is 2, and that gets us back to this menu here, so that was shift 4, and then data, which gets us to here, so we're going to enter matrix B, so we press 2, this is a 3x3 three three again, and this is just the identity matrix. So we add ones on the diagonal. And you can move around in the matrix using the arrow buttons, which is not at all surprising. Now that we've entered the two matrices, we need to save these. And to do that, you press the AC button. Let's move the calculator down a bit. So the AC button is where the off button is. So there's AC. Now we need to go back into the matrix menu, so we'll press shift 4, shift 4. Now we want to do matrix A times matrix B. So to do this, we go, we've done shift 4, so we need matrix 3, so we'll press 3, then just simply put in a time sign and then press shift 4 which gets you back into the matrix menu. You'll notice that matrix is written above 4 in the orange font which corresponds to the shift. So we press shift 4 and we want matrix B so that's number 4 and then we've got matrix A times matrix B and we press equals and we get back matrix A which is exactly what we expect. So I've put as expected here. It's just 1, 2, 3 on each row which is the same as A, multiplied by identity, it's exactly what you would think that it would be. So that's how you multiply matrices. Uh, make sure that the matrices that you're putting into your calculator can be multiplied, not all matrices can be multiplied. Uh, for this example I've just taken two square matrices with the same dimensions. So check that, if you get an error it probably is because the two matrices can't be multiplied. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching.